Honestly, I think it has the potential to change Joomla. Um, the subtitle is Rethinking the Way You and We Do Joomla, but to be honest with you, I think we could call it uh, 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 the polite way to make change, because I know change can be very difficult for many people, um, including myself at times. So I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping, as we say in the States, a uh, quick uh, few things before I actually start talking about the subject matter. Um, for one, the actual notes are available if you go to bit.ly jfeedback, yeah, bit.ly jfeedback J, uh, jab16. And basically, it's in a, like a document format. Um, to be honest with you, one of the, the my jfeedbacks for Joomla events is that often people share slides, but the slides don't have context. They're like slides of like kittens and mountains and stuff like that. And what are you going to do with that if you're not physically here, right? So I, I try to condense into a document and, and hopefully other people will do the same. Uh, as for questions, if you don't mind, if we can hold them to the end. Uh, if you can't even document them, you know, write them on your phone, piece of paper, whatever. And then I'll answer them at the end. And then also I know that everyone here, and as well as anyone watching this via video, um, they may not be native English speakers, so I'm going to try to speak slowly and simple to ensure that everyone understands what I'm saying. I'll try. I get excited and I talk fast sometimes, so please. Now my goal for this presentation is to have everyone feel like me, and that is to love J Feedback. Because uh, as I said earlier, I feel as though feedback is the key to change and to greatness. Um, for me personally, I have a, a a perspective where whatever I do or things that I love to do, I want to do it in a sense of, or in a spirit of excellence or greatness. And that's not an easy thing to do. It takes time, it takes refinement, and it can only be done with feedback. So let's talk about the history of J Feedback for a second. I'm going to go back in time, okay, time capsule, back in time. And it kind of starts with my youth, okay? I'm kind of hardwired, at least I believe it to be the case hardwired to be kind of rambunctious. Um, I'm very opinionated. Um, it's just who I am. In fact, I think I kind of get it from my mom. She's kind of like that too. So I'm hardwired ever since my youth to always have an opinion on something, okay? Now, moving a little bit forward, in undergraduate, I uh, studied business with a concentration on marketing, right? And I, I learned a very, very, very valuable lesson when I was an undergraduate. Basically, uh, it was my freshman year, and for all freshmen, I'm sure other schools as well, um, you know, university, some, some of you call it university or undergraduate, uh, your first semester, you don't really do anything based on your concentration, right? You do all the ethics and rhetoric and, you know, things that's not really fun, not really particular to what you're studying. And that was the case with me. So um, one day I was going to see one of my professors, and I noticed there was a bookshelf and on the bookshelf were obviously books, right? <laughs> and, um, but on the bookshelf was a sign that said free. And I'm just like, what? The, why are these books free? So I asked you know, one of the professors and I found out that basically when the salespeople would come to sell the books to the college, obviously there's only gonna be one book for each class. So all the other books, instead of throwing them away, they would put them on the shelf. So I said, you know what? I wanna learn marketing. There's marketing books on the shelf, let me grab one. So I grabbed one of the books, and I'll never forget, I was going through the book and going through the book, and the funny thing is, I'm sure I learned marketing principles, I don't remember them, but there was one lesson that really stuck with me, okay? It was actually like a, um, an example that they tried to portray in the book, and the example was this. There's a CEO of a company, a president of a company, and the president has two VPs, okay, two vice presidents, and one vice president, everything the president would say he would say, oh yeah, that's a great idea, boss. I love the idea, it's great. I'm with you 100%. And in the States, we call that a yes man, okay? Lap dog, whatever you guys call it, okay? The other vice president basically disagreed with everything, always challenging the president. So then the book then asks you as the reader, what should the president do? And the, and the answer is, fire the, the yes man and promote the one who always challenges. And the reason being is that if you always are saying yes and not challenging, what value do you bring to the table? So that was a lesson that I learned to, to, to challenge, to not be a yes man. So that's what I said. That's who I'm going to be. I'm going to always challenge. So that was my lesson. But moving forward, then I had my first career embarrassment. Okay? Uh, a friend of mine's older brother had received some money to, to do a startup. 
And you know, as some startups who are not as organized per se, what you do is you grab people that you know to fill certain positions. So they knew I had recently graduated from college with marketing, they needed some marketing, so they grabbed me. Come on, Joe, you're a young guy, you're smart, you could do some stuff, no problem. So remind, remember, I'm hardwired to challenge. I learned from the book that I'm supposed to challenge, so that's what I did. It was a board, I'll never forget, it was a, a company-wide board meeting, and they were saying certain ideas and things of that nature, and everything, I was like, oh, that's not a good idea. Oh, no, not that. I was challenging. But I got very embarrassed. The president stopped the meeting, <laughs> called me out, singled me out, and said, I'll never forget this, he said, Joe, you don't throw stones at a glass house unless you have bricks to replace them with. And that lesson reverberated, I, I will never forget it. So now, once again, I'm hardwired to challenge. I learned from the book that it's good to challenge, right, to add value. But now, when you, when you challenge, you have to add value. You have to give people a rationale and a reason. You just don't say, I don't like the color. You tell them why. Red means this, so let's go with blue, okay? Let's change the header because we had to do, you know, have content above the fold. So that was my lesson, to you know, bring value with, with my opinions. So now, to bring it full circle, um, I always had the ambition to be an entrepreneur, but for some reason, um, up until recent, uh, my early part of my, my career, my professional career, um, for some reason I was afraid to take that step and become, become an entrepreneur. I finally did it, and uh, actually since then, it became almost like an obsession. I've always wanted to do different concepts and businesses and stuff, and I've had some, some pretty good success, but the main thing was I had a chance to be the president, the leader. So now, with a perspective of wanting to add value and bring value to my customer and to create an awesome experience, I knew I couldn't do that alone. I needed another person to give me feedback. And now the circle was complete. So once again, hardwired, challenge, um, add value, and now receive feedback. Because it's one thing to give it, it's a whole other thing to receive it. So I, I was able to get the full perspective. But now, we're not here to talk about me, as in Joe J feedback, we're here to talk about Juma feedback. So let's talk about that now. <laughs> I'm, trust me, I'm bringing it in. So with this last venture that, I, that I'm, I'm starting, um, basically, I had to pick a CMS. I, I, I'll tell you a little bit why, how I came to Juma later on. But the thing is, I'm not a developer. I'm not a programmer. I don't really call myself a designer, even though I can design. I don't call myself a writer, even though I can write. I call myself a problem solver, okay? And the thing is, I wanna create this great product, this great service, this great web destination. But what I want far exceeds what I could do. So what I had to, so obviously, I would go to forums and I would ask questions. I would go to people like Victor and buy extensions and then say, uh, uh, it doesn't do this, can you please add that? And I felt like I was always asking, 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 asking. And that's not who I am. I believe in equality, equity, give, take. So I had to figure out a way. How do I give back to the community? Once again, I'm not a developer. They didn't want to get caught up in the politics of things. And then I realized, wait a minute. In the midst of me f buying these extensions and going to the forums, I would put, you know, post little things. Hey, that's great, but how about this, right? And I was like, you know what, what if I did that a little bit more formally? What if I did that more consistently? And that's where J Feedback came into to play. Did the whole hashtags, nothing rocket science, this J positive, this J, you know, just put J in front of anything and it becomes Juma-esque, <laughs> right? right? So um, J thumbs up now. But, um, but my thing was this, what I envision for J Feedback is to, for, for people, for not to be just Joe doing this, but for anyone to do it. And for people to go to the hashtag on Twitter, per se, and see a hundred, a thousand different people helping a thousand or a hundred other people. And that's kind of my vision. So, we talked about the history of J Feedback. But what is J Feedback? Okay, let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty. This sounds crazy, but J Feedback is, a, is like the law of nature. That sounds weird, right? But it's true. For every action, there's a reaction. And what is feedback? Feedback is a reaction. 
Okay? You see something, someone creates it. So, someone creates you yeah, happy. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feedback, feedback. But someone creates something, the next person perceives it, and then they react. It's the law of nature. Okay? J feedback is new ideas. Um, we live in a, in a time right now where create, creativity is paramount. People talk about Apple and how creative they are, whether it be advertisements or the fact that they came out with the first iPod, the iPhone, the iPad. Now people critique Apple saying, oh, they hold back their creativity. But it's, we live in an age where it's all about new ideas. And to, to receive those new ideas, you either have to ask for those ideas, or, and, those, and asking can be either internally or externally, but you have to have new ideas. But new ideas is not good enough. New ideas also needs refinement, okay? So real quick question, just a quick poll. Who drinks coffee? That's what I thought. Okay, keep your hands up. If you're watching the video, same thing, raise your hand. Okay, out of the people who drink coffee, who eats raw cocoa beans? The beans that are used for coffee. Raw. Oh. Raw. Oh. Nobody, oh. right? Huh? In Sambuca. In Sambuca. Okay. <laughs> With alcohol, people will eat anything. Like this or anything. But the point is, the, the beans that are used for coffee, you will not consume it raw. It needs to be refined. So just like any idea, you can have a, a, a new idea, but it needs to be refined to make it better, palatable. Same thing with, with beer. I don't drink coffee, but if I, I'd raise my hand for beer, and if I asked myself, do you eat hops, I'd, close, I'd raise, you know, put my hand down, because no one eats hops. J Feedback also provides understanding. So you have two entities, two people. There's always going to be some type of disconnect. Okay? It's, it's, it's almost like marriage or any type of union. One person thinks one, the other person thinks the other. And it's through feedback, through communications, that you better understand each other and hopefully have a better relationship. At least that's what I've been told. And then lastly, J Feedback is engagement. Um, it's a great way to engage your audience, whether internally or externally. And the key thing with that engagement can, it can foster and develop relationships. So whether it be a new relationship, an existing relationship, or in some cases even a tarnished relationship, it can be mended through positive feedback. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys real quick my f five principles towards what I think would be a, a, a good J feedback ecosystem. First one, and it's very paramount to me, is nothing or no one is above feedback. That is my, my, my principle, that, that is what I live by. Within Joomla and without, no one is above feedback, or not receiving feedback. Unless you're God, I mo most likely have something to say to you, okay? So I've done it with small startups that literally did not have their legs yet. They just, you know, hey, hey Joe, I just posted my, my first web page. My, I got feedback from you, yeah. Let me tell you what you did wrong, or what I think you did wrong, what, what I think you could do better. I've done it with major corporations like Hallmark. I was on their website one day doing research and saw dead links. This is Hallmark. Hallmark is a multi-billion dollar company. Why do you have dead links? I've got feedback for you. The message is greater than the messenger. Um, very important. I, I find that a lot of people, unfortunately, either one, feel as though that their stature, their presence, their title, um, provides them the ability to, to provide feedback and think it's going to be heard, that's not the case. That's not the right way of doing it. The idea should stand on its, on its own merit. Um, same thing um, if someone is quote unquote not of certain stature, not within the community, uh, not of a certain level, whatever it may be, same thing. If their idea is right, then they deserve the merit to be heard. Um, I, I tell people that if a five-year-old stopped me in the street and said, Mr. Joe, you should do such and such differently. Little kid, you're right. <laughs> I will do it, I'll make that change, and then I'll, I will let them know when I make that change. But that's just my personal perspective. Be respectful and have thick skin. Uh, one thing that I've 
I've seen, I'm, I'm a, a, what I call a Joomla newbie, if there is such a term. <laughs> uh, but in my few years of, of uh, being involved in Joomla, I've seen a lot of different stuff. I've seen a lot of conversations <coughs> going back and forth between people. Um, some of them not as pleasant as they should be. Um, and my thing is, we have to be respectful towards each other. How are we supposed to, to make progress if we're not respectful? Um, but at the same time, you have to allow for open and honest conversation. And for that, you may be blasted, as they say. You, someone may really come down hard on you with good cause, and you have to have thick skin. So, another principle. Document your ideas. Uh, I'm a firm, I, I, I constantly have thoughts, ideas, for a number of different things. And I personally believe that to honor your ideas, you have to document them. Um, you should, I mean, we, we have no excuse nowadays. We, we live in an age where you always have a device on hand to capture your ideas. So th th it's, you have no reason why not to, oh, I've got an idea for such and such, navigation or whatever it may be. Do document it because it may get, you may forget it. You may see somebody or start drinking something and, God forbid, drink too much or something, and you really could forget that, the idea. So please, document your ideas. And, and sometimes I, I find that it's, easy, it's easier to document your own ideas, but if you have feedback for somebody else, sometimes you're like, I have it. Yeah, I'll get to it later. But the reality is if, if we have respect for one, each, one another and we try to help one another, we should treat other people's projects just as our own. So for me, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I probably, I could literally take a whole day and share the J feedback I have for various things. <coughs> talking from the community magazine to various Joomla. I mean, this is what I do. I don't share everything because I don't think everything's, <coughs> people are ready for everything, but I document all my ideas because I try to honor my ideas. And then lastly, the last principle is what I call the golden feedback rule. And that's basically, if you have feedback for somebody, to honor that feedback, you should, to, you should be able to at least help them in some form to implement the idea, okay? Now, I'm not saying if you, if you tell somebody a million, let's say a hundred different points of change on a website or an article, whatever it is, I don't expect you to rewrite the article, right? I don't expect you to, to redo someone's website. But in, 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 the, in the spirit of, of cooperation, you may do something as little as, hey, here are some, some thoughts, here are some feedback. When you're done, get back to me. Let, me. let me just look over it for you, okay? It doesn't have to be anything major. It's just a small thing to help the process. But the reality is if someone feels as though you're willing to invest in the idea, then most likely they think you think it's a good idea. So once again, you have to be able to help some people. Now, J feedback in con context to organization. I'm gonna talk about two different contexts. We have, we have organizations and then we have individuals, okay? So in regards to organizations, I have what I call the three R's that we should do. One, we should request. That's asking for feedback. Secondly, we need to remind people because that first time you ask may not be enough. And third, tertiary, we should reward people for prov providing um, J feedback. So as for request, re um, requesting J feedback should be both an internal and external thing. So obviously your team itself will, you know, has good ideas, but sometimes we forget that. We, we, we think about the, the consumer, but in all actuality, the people producing in the sense are kind of like the first level of, or first round of, of consumers. So we should be thinking about require, or requesting J feedback, both from an internal and external perspective. Prepare tools. So in regards to um, requesting or acquiring the J feedback, we need to use communication tools. And there's various ones that we can use. We can use social media, which would be obviously, you could use that publicly, or you can make it more personal and direct message people. Uh, obviously emails, that could be um, standalone emails asking for, for feedback, or it could be even included in a newsletter. Forums, um, just a big pet peeve of mine. If anyone does this, and I, I know one person in particular, he's actually here, I have to tell him. If you have a forum, please, segment the forum based on your extensions or whatever you offer, your templates or whatever. Don't just have general feedback or general comments from your, your, uh, your customers. Break it down so that people can 
can give you specific feedback, and more importantly, people coming behind them can see what other people are saying for that specific thing that they're looking for. Um, of course, we have, we have forms that we can use to, to um, acquire <coughs> feedback. And then lastly, we have events like this where we can just ask in personal, um, in personal questions. So I don't know how many people have done that so far, just going, going up to somebody and say, hey, blah, 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 what do you think about such and such? But there's nothing, nothing beats face-to-face -face dialogue. You can see people's um, intentions, motives, and um, emotions on their face. And then lastly, in regards to uh, requesting J feedback, you need to be explicit. You can't just be willy-nilly and say, oh, I need feedback. No, tell the person exactly what you need and how you need it. Um, can you provide me a JPEG screenshot of blah, 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 blah? Can you tell me the steps that you, you had to um, experience that error? Be very explicit, it will definitely help the process. And then lastly, when asking for feedback um, from an organizational standpoint, you should ask for something small. Don't overbear, don't be overbearing and ask for too much. Um, I find that when you ask for something small, many times you'll get more than that, than that in return, but if you ask for too much, you may not get anything at all. Remind, so you have to be visible, you have to be con um, continuous uh, when asking for feedback. So obviously using the various communication tools. There's a saying in America, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So once again, if you're visible, if you're um, showing people that you want the feedback, then it's very likely that you'll get it. And then also in regards to reminding people, don't forget that you can use other people as advocates to help you get feedback. Um, many times an organization will ask for something and they may not get the same response if another person within the community asked. So don't be afraid to have evangelists and such to help you um, get that feedback. Reward. So simplest way to reward someone is just respond. Uh, I know for me, it works for me. There's been so many times I've sent people feedback and received no response whatsoever. Um, the greatest response I've ever received was actually from Ruth. Um, she sent me a mug, a thank you mug, um, by way of Amazon, and it blew my mind. She didn't say anything. She just sent it, and uh, when I received it, I was, I was amazed. I really was amazed, because I wasn't expecting that. Um, and I've, yeah, so thank you, publicly, <laughs> very much. Um, be personal, um, as well as be public. So sometimes a gift like that through Ruth is, is personal, but at the same time, what did I do? I took a picture of her and I tweeted. So now other people know how kind and generous she is. So sometimes you want to be personal um, and not let people know, there's other times you want to be very public. Um, provide credit. Um, good friend Victor, I, I gave him some f f uh, feedback on a few things, and he included me in the, per, you know, the, um, in the on his website and on, in, within the extension as well. So for that, like, that makes me feel good. That makes me feel like what I'm doing means something. And he knows that if he ever needs anything, I'm always here for him. So something as small as that, and then freebies, discounts, whatever it may be. Um, once again, I've received a number of free subscriptions, uh, even lifetime subscriptions from various um, extension developers. And just for some reason, I don't know if it's uh, a specific extension they're using, but for whatever reason, I think it doesn't go past 2027 or something like that. So just FYI, if you ever want to give someone a lifetime um, plan, some, in some cases you may have to like re-up it because I plan on living past, <laughs> or is it 2067 or something like that. So uh, just an FYI, huh? 2028, yeah, yeah, so that's coming up very soon. Okay, now from an individual perspective, um, we, there are different ways in which we can um, provide J feedback to, to different organizations. And the first thing is, is obviously to be honest, um, but at the same time, be harsh. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's what I believe in. And the example I like to give people is a personal trainer, okay? So if you hire a personal trainer, and the personal trainer comes to your house and he says, okay, Joe, whoever, let's work out. Five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, see you next week. Give me my money back, right? A personal trainer is supposed to make you sweat. To, you're supposed to hate, love and hate your personal trainer, right? Love them because you're getting results. Hate them because they make you sore. So the same perspective should be with, with J Feedback. 
right? When I give someone feedback, I, I do not hold punches. I, I tell them from A to Z what can be better. And that's, I think that's the only way if we're gonna really make um, progress. Because we wanna be strong, right, as a community. And to be strong, we have to work hard. And that's gonna be challenging and hard. So, as, as harsh as you may be, at the same time, you don't wanna be forceful. If someone doesn't want J feedback, you tried, just leave it alone, okay? We don't wanna create any bad blood between anybody. And then also, we wanna be very explicit. So just like an organization asking for J feedback, if you're just giving someone J feedback by you know, the love of your heart, you should also be very explicit. Um, I know for me at times, I think it was DJ Extensions, uh, there was a bug um, in, uh, in regards to their menu, and it was something very s small. But for me, I, you know, I'm very particular about things. And um, it was specifically for iOS devices. Okay, so basically you use the menu, you get somewhere. If you hit the back button, it goes to the, the previous page, but the menu is active. So I'm just like, that doesn't make sense. If I'm going back, I want to go to the page. I don't want the menu active. So I kept trying to explain to them, this is what's happening, this is what, I don't understand. And, and they, were trying, they were trying to debug it by, by way of like um, um, some type of a tool. But you actually had to physically use the iOS to, to go through that. So what did I do? I took my tablet out, my uh, iPad, I took my iPhone, luckily I had a tripod, and I videoed myself going through the experience, <laughs> uploaded it, and then sent it to them. But that was the only way. I had to be explicit. I had to show them exactly what was going on. And you know, at the same token, they were very grateful because they knew that you know, it took me time to do that. And then also, in regards to um, providing feedback from an individual standpoint, you, have to, you should also give people rationale. You know? So it's, it's good to have an opinion, but you should tell them, this is, what I, this is what I'm experiencing, and this is what should be changed, and this is why. Okay, this is always, you should always be able to answer the why question. And then lastly, you should, it would be, you don't have to, but it would be nice if you follow up. So when I send people stuff, if I don't get feedback from them, from my feedback, then I'll reach out to them and say, hey, did you get that? What'd you think? Did you change it? And it shows that I'm sincere in what, in what I'm doing. And, and I think the same would go for anybody. So that's the first part. How much time do I have? Does anyone have a time? How much time do I have? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay, good, because I kind of went through that kind of fast. Um, the second part, can we turn off the recording? Yes. Okay. Oh, this, is, this is why I took off the recording.